Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Um, today, when I was looking at my videos, <clears throat> I realized that I never made a six year anniversary video. So, without further ado, here it is. I can't believe that I forgot the six year anniversary back on March 6th. Um, then again, life has thrown me quite a few curveballs recently. So. But anyways guys, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now I want to start off with my M17 update because it's changed quite a bit. Um, I have a lot more exciting things to show you, uh, but before I get into the review of the main part of the video, I want to show you guys this stuff really quick. So here is some of the masks that I have that came in the mail. They're all in various states of disarray. This one was $30 on eBay. Um, it's the M17 size medium from 65. I could kind of show you guys the inside a little bit. Brand new C8R1 head harness. Uh, when I purchased this, it had no filters, no XL valve, um, no air intake discs, no head harness, no bag. <clears throat> so right now it's still missing the outserts and the XL valve cover, but I did get the brand new filters, um, air intake, disc valves, head harness, XL valve, so now it's kind of only missing two things. This one will be its own video, um, or I'll mention it in, in a little bit. This one came from Facebook. Um, it was $20 or $25 um, plus almost 15 shipping. It came with a bag and filters but no XL valve, no XL valve cover, no discs, no outserts, no head harness. And as you guys can see, it is very, very dirty. Um, I'm gonna have to fully wash this one. It's also the most like broken in M17. I've never, never been able to grab one and crunch it up like this before, um, even without the filters, but its lenses are pretty toast. Um, in the video, they don't look too bad, but in person, they are pretty bad. So, I got this one. Then I got this one on eBay for $35. It came with filters, bag, one outsert, the head harness, or... Uh, no, this this head harness came from a different mask, um, but it's the M17A1. This one is from 1970. You can see its lenses need to be cleaned really badly. Um, I gave it a good once over, but I didn't do the inside very much at all. Oh, and then this one's an MSA2. Uh, from 63 and then last but not least this one which in the last video is the one with all the white stuff on the inside I've um, cleaned it up I completely washed this mask it's an MSA from 1970 still don't have a head harness on it yet but there's the inside so if you remember how it looked before You'll see that it's a lot better now. Still not perfect, but it's a lot better than where it was off before. Um, brand new XL valve. Uh, replaced the uh, inlet discs on the valves. Um, not sure if I want to get new outserts for it yet. Because I may end up selling this one. If I sell it, I don't think I will. 
but I did get new XL valve cover and drinking tube. Now when I took out the filters, um, I got more questions than answers. This is one of the filters, and there's that white stuff that was all on the inside of the mask. And somebody dissected the filter and took out the charcoal and then taped this mesh part back on and then put it back inside the mask. Here's, here's the other one. So if you guys have any suggestions of what happened to this filter, because this is on the inside where it shouldn't ever look like this. My theory is that it got rained on and left outside, um, but I've never seen filters this bad before. So that's why this one required such a deep wash, because that's what the inside of the pocket looked like was all that crusty stuff too. But here's all the new parts that I do have for it. So I ordered brand new um, disc valves and the discs, XL valves, uh, XL valve covers, still need a drinking tube for this one, outserts, an M6 hood from 64, M6A2 hoods, uh, that one's used and missing a strap, but this one's new, six brand new C8R1 head harnesses, and then I also got 15 gas mask bags that are all, I mean, some are the nylon ones, some are the M17 series, M17, M17A2, another A2, you can tell by the color, oh, and the nylon strap. So yeah, guys, it's been quite the uh, quite the experience dealing with all these. Um, I didn't want to pay the eBay price, so I searched out the the throwaway masks that were barely worth anything, and now they're coming along. Like I said, this one didn't have um, XL valve discs, filters, head harness, bag, or anything really. Um, this one had the bag, but missing pretty much everything else. The filters in this one, it did have filters, but they're they're toast. Um, I brought them too. Here's one of them. This is the better looking of the two, but uh, the other one's like covered in dirt and they're the original black ring filters. Um, but yeah, this one was 20, this one was 35, and this one was 30 after shipping. Um, so now let's get into the main part of the review. So as some of you guys have, uh, may have noticed, or I may have mentioned a few times on the channel that I've been looking for the military Bianchi holsters in their other styles. And one of the most desired ones that I wanted was the chocolate chip holster. And I've been searching on eBay searched all over Facebook, and in one of the groups, somebody actually messaged me saying, hey, I think I have a holster for sale. Um, he just needed to dig it out of storage. And then he told me that he had a matching belt and the ammo pouch, too, with it. Um, I, my original offer was 125 He interpreted that as 125 for just the holster. Um... So I paid a little bit more than what I would have liked, but it's still a fair deal. Um, and we would go several days without any contact. Um, I would message him, and then he wouldn't message back. The day later, he would. So I didn't wasn't sure how that this was really going to turn out. Um, and then at one point, he told me, hey... I checked and they're not where I thought they were so I'll just let you know whenever I find them so at this point I'm thinking okay so he's probably never gonna message me back and then I think it was three or four days later he messages back with 
two holsters, three belts, one ammo pouch. All in chocolate chip. So here's one belt. It's got the, well this is the one that I already had. Um, and then, um, brand, I mean this thing is like brand new. There's no signs of use on this thing at all. And then here's the belts. Here's the buckles. 3436. So I think that's like small, medium. They're all 3436. Of course, all chocolate chip. And then here's the pouch. This the pouch actually shows some signs of wear, which I really like. Now he said that this one was for the 1911 only and it wouldn't fit the Beretta M12 ones. Um, or the Breda M9, sorry. But I managed to fit mine in there. And my so um, and this one fits Breda M9 too. Here's the second holster. Again, basically brand new. These scratches on it, I put those on there from taking them off this belt. And then here's my Spanish copy, which I'm not sure if I showed you guys this yet. But there was a guy, when I was first looking for the chocolate chip items, a guy sent me pictures of his chocolate chip LBV88. Um, and originally we were talking about, I was talking about buying it. Um, and then he kind of changes his mind, but now we're still talking and... Um, He's in the process of manufacturing a reproduction one. Uh, so that will be really cool to see. But he let me know about this Spanish company that made these. And I had no clue uh, Spain ever copied the Six Color Desert Camo. And by itself, it looks really good. And then, of course, when you compare it to the true Bianchi, it does stand out quite a bit. But it, it still looks very nice. The quality isn't that bad. I really like that even the trim is chocolate chip. I think that's a nice touch. You can feel that it's definitely cheaper metal though. I'll, I also like that they color match to the um, cleaning rod pouch. Or is this, they just left it blank or black. Um, so he let me know about that company and I purchased this one thinking that this is the closest I'll ever get. And then that guy came back with the three belts, two holsters, and one pouch instead of just the one belt, uh, one holster, and one pouch, which I would have been thankful either way, but this is really awesome. Um, I'll show you the Bianchi tag on the belt. They're all exactly the same. Bianchi, Rangers, yeah, there's, oh, no, Ranger series, there we go. And it just adjusts like a Velcro. Um, but no guys, I'm very glad to finally own the six color holster and the complete, well technically two complete belts. Um, I do have more Spanish six color desert items coming, so that'll be another video coming up. Um, but yeah guys, I'm just blown away by this. I'm so thankful to finally have this set, or sets. Um, so now pricing. He came back and said, well, how about $30 a belt and $50 for the uh, ammo pouch, or a total of $325 for all of it. So this was back when he, and I never explained this to him because by the time we got this far. It would, it would kind of look like I was going back on my word of 125, um, uh, which I, I mean I really wasn't. But anyways, so what it, it comes down to is basically 92 dollars per holster, 
$30 a belt or a total of $90 for all three belts and then the $50 ammo pouch which at the end of the day that's really fair um, I think these black ones I think you can still get the all black belts like this I'm not sure from Bianchi um, but I mean yeah 30 bucks is about what they're worth and then the $50 ammo pouches these military style ones sell new for $50 so that's fair 92 bucks on the holster each um, you know you're not gonna find these anywhere else so um, and then the gas mask he saw my listing that I was looking for gas masks and he said well I have this unusual one that's just stamped MSA no US stamp just a size indicator and there's a few other things weird about it but I'll it'll get its own video um, but he threw this in um, for 25 extra dollars so I got the three belts the ammo pouch the two holsters the M17 um, all for $350 so anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for my six year anniversary on YouTube it's crazy to think that I've been on YouTube for closer to a decade um, but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys continue watching thank you so much for letting I mean really it's up to you guys how long this channel lasts um, you know and I want to say thank you guys so anyways guys I'll catch you on the next video have a nice day